Ich habe hier drin eure Fragen gesammelt an Slavoj Žižek, Zuschauerfragen. Er sitzt jetzt mir gegenüber und also ah, Fragen ah, von Zuschauern. Ah, you manipulated this. Is a good Stalin is you ja, organized? Zwei, zwei eigene haben wir reingemacht, ja. What is Lieblingsgericht? Was magst du am liebsten zum Essen? Oh mein Gott. Now I will make this shameful confession. Triple Cheeseburger. Triple Cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. Leibgericht von Slavo Žižek. Ja. Yeah. Und was trinkst du dazu? Ja. Yeah. Cola? Leider, ja. Yeah. I know it's practically prohibited to me, because when I told this to my diabetician mm -hmm. doctor, mm -hmm. he told me there are things that you shouldn't eat. But there are things you shouldn't even dream about eating. <lacht> And triple cheeseburger is one of them. Das höchste. Wie sieht deine Utopie aus? I don't like idea. even to think about utopias, because if there is a lesson of the 20th century, is that no matter how well meant they were, all the utopias, it's I think universal gesetz, all utopias turn into a nightmare when actualized. I think the true changes today are not big new vision, but you do something small and then If you want to follow this, you have to do more, 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 and all of a sudden you change society. But I don't believe in great utopian visions. Weiter? Mm. Wie sieht deine Form von Hoffnung aus? Hoffnung? Hoffnung. It's very complex. I can only give a general answer. I'm by nature a pessimist, because that's the only way that you can keep open your hope that something good will come. Namely, if you are an optimist, mm -hmm. because things mostly turn bad, you will all the time be disappointed. Yeah. But if you are a pessimism, from time to time something nice happens and it's the only way to be joyful from time Sehr to time. Sehr gut, das nenne ich dialektisch. Pessimist <laughs> zu sein, damit man Hoffnung yeah, haben kann. Yeah. Wer bist du? Ich hoffe, ich bin niemand. I don't like, I hate any deeper truth in me. Because I think if you look deep into yourself, what do you discover? That you are full of shit. We all are. I think authenticity is not Marlon Brando, this authentic acting, crying. Authenticity is assume fully your mask. How do I stand towards pacifismus, pacifism? Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is that uh, sometimes To abandon pacifism and resist, even with arms, is the only way to keep peace. Mm. That's the paradox that we have to accept. So in this sense, not that I like war. War is, must be a nightmare. But there is a paradox here that pacifism serves as a rule perfectly the aggressors. What do Russians want in Ukraine. Let's be frank, in some sincere sense they want peace. Peace under their occupation and so on. Okay. What did Germany want in 1940 in France when it occupied it? Peace, undoubtedly. What does Israel want on the West Bank? Peace, to control it peacefully, you know. So there is something false, deeply false in pacifism for me. Welche Musik hörst du und warum? Ja, yeah, hier will ich disappoint you. Oh. I am an old rock conservative. For me, all really great things happen between 65 and 75, more or less. Mm. So, uh, apart from Rammstein, they are a special case that I like. I listen all the time to classical music. I'm an absolute Wagnerianer. But, but, but. If you were to ask me this classical question, you go to an island till you're dead, which mm. one composition you will take? Mm. Arnold Schoenberg, Gure Lieder. It's something absolutely unique because it's kind of a oratorium of uh, uh, one, one, almost two hours, romantic story, but then it moves into strange domain of modernity of Sprechgesang and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. So this passage from spät romantic, ultra Wagnerianer to 
Sprechgesang Atonal Modernity ist enacted in, in one einem and the same in einem Stück. That's my absolutely favorite. So, gehen wir weiter. Der Kernpunkt deiner Philosophie. Uh. It's risky, but I will try to answer. Gerne. We have usually positive metaphysics, where you say there is one highest entity, God, the universal structure of reality, or you have <coughs> the most radical in this space, Buddhism, that you have an original void. And then through this perturbation of the void, things emerge, but they return to dust and so on. Mm -hmm. I, my spontaneous ontology is that even the void is not at the beginning. At the beginning is some terrible catastrophe, things go wrong. There is no beginning. Things are from the very beginning <laughs> thrown off the rail. And that what Buddhism wants to return to this nirvana original void is always a retroactive illusion. So it's a deeply pessimist theology. Yes, there is a fall, but there is nothing before the fall. 